Somália contributes with 0,003% to the emissions that cause climate change. Although Somalia makes virtually no contribution to climate change, the Somalis are among the greatest victims. Nearly 5 million people are experiencing high levels of acute food insecurity. And of course, rising prices make matters worse. So I call on donors and I call on the international community to step up their support. To urgently fund the 2023 Humanitarian Response Plan, which is currently just 15% funded. The Somali people deserve the solidarity of the international community and deserve it to prevent malnutrition and displacement, to save lives, to avert famine, but also to be able to launch a new process of stabilization and development in the country and to build up its capacities to fight Shabab with even more efficiency than in the recent past. And I'm also here to ring the alarm on the need of massive international support. Massive international support because of the humanitarian difficulties the country is facing. Massive humanitarian support in relation to the build-up of a security capacity in Somalia. And massive humanitarian support in stabilization and development of the country. As of now, we have a certain priorities which uh, comes together in three main headings. One is liberating the country from the scourge of the terrorism. The other is averting the human uh, famine and uh, humanitarian side. And the third is complete, completing the Hibic point for, for the reform, economic and financial reform of the country. At the moment, we're working together with other international partners, the stabilization program of the post Al Shabaab or the liberated areas. This, we look to the UN to increase critical investment in these areas. So, the 31st year, Somalia is experiencing the arms embargo, which we believe this is the right time. We are very much grateful for the United Nations, your good offices, on the support of this issue, as well as the other United Nations Security Council members who showed that the Somalia has reached to a level where it has been easy, the embargo has been easy in the past, that helped a lot, and we are expecting the complete lift in the near future as well.